Yo guys, it's Broads here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to continue our Carlisle United career mode. So as promised, I'm going to give you guys a squad report to start us off. We have got George Gavilan at 63 overall, going up by 2. Leon Geis, 68 overall, going up by 2. Callum Ward, 61 overall, going up by 5. Dominic Thai, 62 overall, going up by 1. Jacopo Lopez Gomez, 62 overall, gone up by 2. Anton Anderson, 61, gone up by 3. Gabriel Xavier, 61, gone up by 4. Jacob Rudder, 69 overall, gone up by 3. Miguel Cruz, 64 overall, gone up by 2. Horacio Diaz Gutierrez, I think is how you say it, 59 overall, gone up by 3. Oliver Robertson, 58 overall, gone up by 6. Tony Bodorov, 60, gone up by 2. Cameron Harrison, 65, gone up by 7. Jordan Roberts, 62, gone up by 5. Leonardo Castro, 52 overall, gone up by 8. Added Aiden McKinley, 59 overall, gone up by 6. Peter Cook, 51 overall, gone up by 4. Alberto Ricci, 60 overall, gone up by 6. And there's some real players there. We've got Lance Morris, 59 overall, gone up by 4. Some more there, and finally, Walter Miranda, 59 overall, gone up by 2. Paul Whittle, 53 overall, gone up by 3. And then Ryan Dobson, 69 overall, gone up by 2. Mohamed Imam, 59 overall, gone up by 2. Connor Green, 45 overall, just promoted him. Anton Eklund, 66 overall, gone up by 14. Charlie Evans, 55 overall, gone up by 6. Alfie Moore, 59 overall, gone up by 6. Lewis Evans, 51 overall, gone up by 8. Peter Baker, 62 overall, gone up by 1. Fabio Ribeiro, as you know him as Cornrows, 67 overall, gone up by 13. Charlie Phillips, 49 overall, gone up by 4. Roberto Damian, 68 overall, gone up by 5. Jamie Tivert, there's some more real players there. And out on loan to Doncaster, we've got Oscar Anderson. That'll do it. Now that that's over, we can get on to some matches. First one, we're up against Morecambe. Oh! 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 oh. Boom! John Roberts, you tank. Oh, look at that back heel. Dobson is taken down. Ref. He may be sent off here, man, because he was through on goal. Boom! Booyah, I called it. Edwards, goodbye. Roberto Damian, you've been here before. Can you do it again? Yes, he can. Roberto Damian, the free kick specialist. Whenever he's on it, you've just got this confidence, man. Oh my goodness, what a goal. And so it should have been. Dobson was through on goal anyway, so it was probably most likely going to be a goal. Definitely. We're 1-0 ahead, baby. Let's go. This is excellent. Ooh. Well done, Damian. Oh, Peter Cook. How is he 51 overall? Oh! As soon as he was making a name for himself, he seems to get injured. Wow. Oh, fucking Emar ref, man. This is, you can't pull that up. That is just strength. That is just dominance. Peter Cook seems to have recovered. He's going to let loose. Aiden McKinley. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, what a goal. I mean, we are just carving these guys up. I'm sorry, Morkham, but you just need to step your game up. Damien's got two. Aiden McKinley just cutting in. Just didn't even need his skill, man. Just look at this. Bang. That turn. What a turn. I could have passed it, and I probably should have, but I wanted McKinley to get the goal since it was just so brilliant cutting in like that. But instead, we grabbed the goal with Damien. Of course, 2-0, baby. Hey, they're through on goal, and Cornrose does his bit at the other end, man. Congratulations, just an amazing save. Out of nowhere, it's his first touch of the game, and it's a brilliant one. Jordan Roberts to take, he puts it in, he finds an open man. Wow. I don't know who headed that, but it was a great one indeed. Darmian on the other side. Oh my goodness, just shoot the damn thing. Oh, great attempt, Morris, great attempt. Dobson, finding Damien. What can Damien do? He can go through all of them. Giving it to Dobson. Oh, wow. What a sh show of brilliance from Damien there on the wing. He's doing wonders this match. Oh, Dobson. 
This is why he's the best player in the team, because he can make shit like that happen. And now Peter Cook, after nearly an injury that sends him off the pitch, has scored a goal. We're 3-0 up. Look at that. Bang. Right there. That's what done it. And then just the follow-up play. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe the shot could have been a bit better placed, Mr. Cook. But it's in the net nonetheless. They're through, they shoot, and they score. I must say, we've been giving the ball away a lot in that past sort of five-minute period, and we pay for it, really. That's what happens when you give legendary possession. It doesn't. It also doesn't give Cornrows a clean sheet. Nice. Well, lads, let's put them in their place. Let's get some more. Oh, Phillips, he's through. He'll shoot. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper. Not over yet. Peter Cook... Oh, it's a goal. Peter Cook grabs his second of the game. It should have been Phillips' goal, but... Oh, well, what can you do? He didn't finish it correctly. Two, two centre for me. Look, it just shoots it here. Bang, straight at the keeper. What can you do? But we pass it in. Peter Cook takes his time. And once again, straight at the keeper, but... It's a goal. We're up 4-1. Let's go, boys. Lovely ball over to... Damien on this wing. What can he do? He'll feed through Phillips. He's got another chance. He shoots. It's five, baby. Phillips grabs his goal. Brought him on as a substitute. He's done well. Got into some great positions that he's run onto the ball. Didn't finish one, but he finishes this one. We're up to five. I think this is the biggest lead we've had this series and the most goals we've ever scored in a game. Yes. Go remember too, guys. This is away from home. Oh! Phillips... Is away, he shoots! Oh! Can you imagine if that would have happened? It would have been six. Corner. Always room for more. Oh, the keeper doesn't know what to do! And now our center backs are getting in on the action. I don't know what to say. We're doing so well. Shush is the walking fans. A bit questionable, but damn, it's 6 1. This is by far the best lead we've had. And the keeper, I don't know what he's doing. Look at this. He comes out, then he's not attempting, attacking the ball, and then. That's what happens when, you, when you're left in that sort of dead dead zone. Le easy pickings, man. It's easy pickings throughout the fence. It's 6-1. Let's go, baby. Well, can I just say, good on you guys. That was an amazing game. Considering that we're away as well. We're at Morecambe. In their home fans. They wanted the win. They went attacking. Well, it didn't work quite well for, it, for them, did it? We grabbed the win. 6-1. Yeah, the boys. Second match of the episode. Let's see if we can follow up that last one. I don't know how we are. But it's against AFC Wimbledon. Phillips gives it to Anderson. He'll cut in. Anderson for Harrison. He smashes it. And it's a great save from the keeper. Right up. Xavier will beat his man. Harrison. Oh, jeez. I should have just had the shot with Xavier to start. But it was a good opportunity. Gone to waste again. More. Gives it to Phillips. Great turn. Oh, goodness. So close again. Oh, team, man. Who was number 14? I think that's more. He just stood beside and watched them score the goal, man. One slip up. That's the first chance they've had this match. Look at this. Look. More there. Look, he just stands there. What are you doing, mate? Oh. Jeez. It's, an easy, it's like... Oh. Man, from 6-1 to this, at home, wow, we're 1-0 down. Man, they're away again, come on, Botarov, wow, close but no cigar. Oh, that is wonderfully played, Phillips, it was then, man, the f oh my goodness, that was just worked wonderfully, but Phillips just doesn't want to score, he's just like, nah, man, sorry, it's just not the time for it, man, now down the other end of the pitch, AFC Wimbledon, nearly bloody score again. Oh, here we go. Jacob Rada. Oh, more. Damn, man. It's an open net. People, have we forgotten how to score six goals? We scored six goals last game. What is that, man? <laughs> Harrison. Oh, Phillips. Oh, come on. Oh. It is just, we are just not finding the back of the net today. We are not. It's just, it's not, 
something is just, it's not about that. I can't say anything, man, because the amount of chances that we are not putting away is just unbelievable. And not only the amount, but the quality of chances is so good, but we're still not putting, I don't get I don't get it. Wow, that is just a kick in the face, really. Uh, just, there's no one marking him. I can't say anything. It's just not our day, really. It is just not our day. They've had about, that's probably about the third chance they've had. That's not even a chance. It shouldn't be a chance. That should be someone closing him down. It's a great finish. Hats off to him. We're 2-0 down. Roberts. Ward, who's the center back, has come up. Still can't finish it. Well, from a 6-1 victory to a defeat like this, it's just bizarre. I mean, I can't even say we were outplayed today because we just didn't take our chances. And if we did, the scoreline would read 5-2, to be honest with you. Let's hope we can improve in the next game, man. Look at that. That is just fucked, man. 10 shots, 59% possession, compared to 4 shots and 41%. Oh, I can't. We... Oh. Third match of the episode, it's first in the table against second, second being us, and first being Leighton Orient. Sorry, it's actually second versus third. My bad. In hindsight, if we can win this game, we are getting much more closer and it's much more likely for us to gain an automatic promotion spot. Dobson, what can he do? Dobson plays in Jacob Rudzar. Would it have been a ama an amazing goal, really? Oh, what a run from Damien, man. Back in. Harrison, I should have taken it first time. Oh, Damien. Oh, what a tackle. Harrison. Oh, he hits the post, man. Oh, Peter Cook. Oh, it's all happening. Now in for Cameron Harrison. He's got a chance. And he doesn't take it so close. It was a good effort. Just not enough for a goal, man. Oh, man. They're playing well. Ugh. Oh, goodness. That is close. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine if that went in? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. They hit the post this time. And, oh, thank gosh. Well, that is full time. It is a nil-all draw. It was just a massive tussle in the midfield. Not much happened on either of the goals, but in the midfield, it was just a tussle, and no one really got the best of each other. So a draw was a deserved result, and we're happy in the end. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed. Next episode will be the last one for this season. The, after that, we'll get on to the transfers in the next. And... Looking at the table, it doesn't look like we're going to reach Rockdale. I don't think that's even mathematically possible. Down below us, we have Leighton Orient and Ber and then Mansfield Town on 71 points. So we're on 78, so I'm pretty comfortable. And I'm glad to say that we are very likely to automatically get promoted for next season into League 1. But we'll see how things pan out in the last episode. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys next time.